In the dead of night, a group of monsters crawled towards the top of the lighthouse, and the people on the lighthouse fought with shotguns, as the number of monsters was too large, they soon ran out of ammunition, they had to pick up the axe and slash at the monsters, but the number of monsters was far more than they had imagined. The story begins with a man named Friend, who comes to an island to escape from reality and work. When Captain asked him where the weather station manager was, the older man told them that the man had died a long time ago. After that, the older man did not say a word no matter what Captain asked him, they had no choice but to go back. Captain took the others and left the place. Friend stayed to take over the station manager's job. He will also live alone in this small cabin. Friend thought could spend the year in peace. But I never thought I would encounter something terrible that night. In the evening, Friend was reading a book with his tea when there was a sudden sound of footsteps outside the door. And he thought it was the older man from the lighthouse. But there was no response after a few shouts. And when Friend went forward with the lamp to open the door, looking at the hands that did not look like normal people, Friend froze. At that moment, the sound of howling outside woke him up. Aware of the danger, Friend hurriedly pulled open the cellar door and hid inside. And not long after he entered, the sound of a broken window rang out. Friend cautiously looked out through the gap, and suddenly a monster found him. Friend hurriedly brought a rope to tie the cellar door firmly, safe through the dangerous night. The next morning, Friend came to the lighthouse to seek the older man's help. But the older man did not take kindly to the new stranger. Friend had no choice but to stand on his own feet. He began to fortify the doors and windows, set up traps, and, to his surprise, found a gun, which gave him more hope for survival. Nighttime, Friend looks out the window nervously. Sure enough, a group of naked people appeared on the sea. Soon, the sound of crashing came from the door of the room, and the crashing sound became more and more intense. The Friend was also ready to fight. Suddenly, several monsters broke the window. The Friend could only repel the monsters at the window first. At that moment, there was also a crashing sound from the room door. Attack both sides at the same time. So that friend is at a loss for words and shoot indiscriminately. Although a wave of shooting temporarily repelled the monster. But not long after. The monster attacked again. Friend knew that sooner or later he would be overcome. So he lit a torch and threw it at the door. Soon. The flames outside the door surrounded the cabin. And the monsters retreated with it. However. The fire was so big that the cabin was unfortunately set on fire. And it was too late to put it out. Friend had to put on a blanket and break out the door. Then spent the night by the reef not far away. When he woke up the next day, the cabin had been completely burned. Desperate, Friend quietly followed the older man, intending to threaten him into letting him live in the lighthouse. Just as Friend was about to shoot the old man, but then a blue-skinned monster appeared on the side. After a scuffle, Friend picked up the gun on the ground. At that moment, the older man also heard the sound and came over. They were at a standstill for a while. In the end Friend proposed to use supplies in exchange. The old man reluctantly agreed that he moved into the lighthouse. Then learned through the chat that the old man's name is Gruner. And the mermaid in front of him was saved by accident before. Friend was shocked. Why didn't Gruner kill it? But Gruner could have explained more. However, it didn't take long for Friend to understand. In the face of these terrible creatures, Friend was very afraid. But what Friend didn't expect was that Gruner quietly closed the door behind him when he wasn't looking. By the time Friend reacted, it was too late. And Gruner had already closed the steel door. At this moment, Gruner sat on the stool, not knowing whether he wanted Friend to grow up quickly or the monster to kill him. Because the last time the monster attacked, Friend retreated because he was too scared. And so it was until dawn when Gruner opened the steel door. What Gruner didn't expect was that Friend had survived. And he looked at Friend, whose eyes were becoming more and more determined. At that moment, Gruner didn't know what he was thinking. As time goes by, after a long time together, they slowly got to know each other well. Friends are looking forward to the year passing quickly every day. When the next supply ship arrives, they will leave this place. But it wasn't long before Friend's mind was completely changed. It's been two and a half weeks since the last attack. And they're wondering why the monster hasn't come for so long. But they don't dare to take it lightly. After learning that Gruner had not treated the adopted mermaid well, Friend has some heartache for it. He didn't understand why Gruner had adopted the shark at first. And he even did something interspecies to it. It is only later that Friend understands that the two of them are playing chess that night. Suddenly, Gruner senses danger. Although the two reacted and prepared for battle, they would pay the price for their carelessness. This time there are more monsters than before. 
But they have been working together for a long time. In the face of the monsters' hordes, they were brave. The monsters that climbed up were knocked off the lighthouse one by two. However, even if the tacit cooperation also needed the support of ammunition, their shots soon ran out. They had no choice but to take up the axe and fight in close quarters. But so many monsters want to use the axe to cut all that is simply impossible. They had no choice but to fight and retreat. Gruner was scratched by the monster when he was covering friend's escape. Fortunately, Gruner saved his life. And they managed to hide in the last fortress, which is relatively strong. The monster did not manage to break. In this way, the two waited until dawn. When the sun rises, the monster evacuates the area. After the last battle, there were few bullets left, and it was impossible to survive the next round of attacks. However, if nothing else, there is a surprise. One day, Friend spots a cargo ship at sea level, which gives him hope for survival. But just as Friend returns to get his flare gun, Gruner stops him. A friend was already broken, he knew what Gruner was afraid of. But there was nothing he could do to change. Friend lost his chance to get out of there. Afterward, Friend found a boat with the shark's guidance. To find out whose boat it was, Friend found Gruner and asked him about it. Gruner also told Friend the truth that the boat is the previous pirates left behind. Their ship in the storm hit the nearby reef sank, and the pirates came to the island did not live through the day. A friend thought that since the pirates that their wreck should still have ammunition and weapons, he wants Gruner to help him along. But Gruner did not agree. A friend had no choice but to think of another way. Afterward, friend was attracted by a song when repairing the boat. He followed the sound to a hot spring, only to find that it was Gruner's adopted mermaid. Looking at the beautiful blue-skinned monster in front of him, Friend slowly swam toward it. Then, they had an indescribable scene. Gruner discovered the scene. When Friend returned, Gruner agreed to his previous plan, but Friend was oblivious, and at that moment Gruner wanted nothing more than to flay him alive. After making all the preparations, Friend went to the bottom of the sea in his diving suit and succeeded in finding the ammunition. Gruner pulled the ammunition up, but before they could all be retrieved, they were interrupted. A monster appeared in front of Friend, scaring him to fall to the ground. Friend pulled the rope to remind Gruner. Gruner found and did not intend to save him. Finally, a friend had to take off his diving suit and swim out. To the duo's surprise, this time, they harvested not only many bullets but also a large box of explosives. A few days passed quickly, but the monster did not appear. Gruner started to get a little irritated, and he took his anger out on the mermaid. Gruner then tells Friend to open the door downstairs tonight to attract the monster. Friend disagreed with Gruner's plan, but he didn't dare to disobey Gruner's orders. At the end of the night, they waited for a long time, but still no sign of the monster. Unable to do otherwise, Gruner had to catch Merman and threaten it to make it cry out. Not long after, the monsters did appear. Soon, they entered the lighthouse. Gruner immediately pressed the detonator, but there was no response. As more and more monsters climb up the lighthouse, Gruner can only tackle the monsters in front of him first. Friend rushed to connect the fuse and press the detonator. Gruner felt it was not enough, so he detonated the nearby bombs. When they came out the next day to clean up the battlefield, Friend accidentally found the decorations on the monsters. He realized that the mermaid were not bloodthirsty monsters. They also had their civilization, but Gruner didn't care about that. He grabbed the decoration and threw it far away. In this way, as time passed day by day, Friend had no intention of leaving this place because he had adapted to life here. One evening, Friend came to the beach and was suddenly surrounded by a group of monsters. Strangely enough, the monsters did not attack Friend. He realized that the monsters were not targeting them for no reason but to save Gruner's adopted mermaid. But then a bullet shattered the harmony. Friend returned to the lighthouse and punched Gruner. Then the two fought. In the end, Friend was knocked to the ground by Gruner. And just as Gruner was about to finish Friend off, Friend called out his real name. Gruner suddenly remembered something. It turned out that when Friend had just arrived on the island, he saw a newspaper article stating that the culprit who killed his wife was Gruner. Like Friend, Gruner had come to the island to escape from reality. After hearing Friend's words, Gruner instantly thought of his dusty memories. He turned around and opened the door to go out and was subsequently bitten by countless monsters. At the end of the film, another group of people came here, and they took Friend as Gruner. By now, Friend has become numb. In the end, he becomes Gruner's likeness. 